My annotative scaling allows me to keep objects that have been made annotative, such as dimensions, text, leaders and multi-leaders, hatch patterns, blocks, or attributes, consistent in size when they're displayed in different viewports and at different scales. The easiest way to understand annotative scaling is to look at the problem that annotative scaling is trying to solve and how it goes about solving that problem. Here we have, for example, a floor plan. And in this floor plan, the scale for my dimensions is set in the dimension style. So if I go to my dimension style and I look in the settings for the fit, it's using an overall scale factor of 48, which would be quarter inch equals a foot. And so the visibility and size of my dimensions look just fine here in model space. Now when I go to a layout, here I have a layout that shows my floor plan, but it also shows two details at different scales. So zooming in a little bit, you can see that here in the floor plan, the size of my dimensions actually will be printed at a good size because this is scaled to quarter inch equals a foot and everything looks normal. Now in this next viewport we're using half inch equals a foot. So we're able to zoom in on a particular part of the floor plan but you notice that my dimensions also have been scaled up so they appear to be larger. In this detail this is scaled at three-quarter inch equals a foot and my dimensions have gotten even larger. What I'd like to have is a consistency across all three viewports where I can get different scaled views uh, of this object but my dimensions will always remain consistent size from viewport to viewport. In contrast I'm now looking at the same floor plan but this time all of my dimensions have been set to use annotative scaling. Notice that when I go on top of the dimensions, it shows the little annotative scaling icon uh, just above to the right of my cursor. Now it's not enough just to make them annotative. I have to also add the scales to which they will adjust. So if I go up on my annotation uh, panel and click on Add or delete scales and click on one of the dimensions we can see what scales have been added and we have quarter inch equals a foot half inch and three quarters which are the three viewports that we want to use them in so now when I change to my viewport you'll notice that from one viewport to the other even though these are at three different scales the size of my dimension text and the size of my dimension objects have been scaled to be the same across all three viewports. They will automatically adjust as I change the scale of the viewport. So if I click on this viewport and I change this from one half to three quarters, you'll notice that the dimensions change size and they adjust to that scale. If I change this back to half inch, then they adjust automatically. Now in contrast to that you'll notice that the text has not been set to use annotative scaling so even though I zoom in and out it gets larger and smaller it will not automatically adjust. To use annotative scaling it takes a little bit of planning to know what um, scales you're going to need for uh, the views and the layouts and the viewports that you're going to create but it saves time in terms of being able to keep all of your annotative objects consistent um, across all of your layouts.